first section of APA style that we'll talk about are the ways to format your document. We'll start in this video by talking about formatting for the entire document, how you set up the document when you first start to write. First thing to know is that all papers should be word processed. This isn't quite as much of a problem as it might have been back before everybody had a laptop. Uh, so nowadays this is relatively easy, but still know that you should word process all of your papers. Also take a note here and throughout the rest of the videos that the numbers at the end of lines refer to the section in the manual where you can find more information about each of these rules. So in addition to having to word process everything, when you start your document, just set it on double space and leave it alone because you're going to double space everything. That includes the reference list. Also, set up your margins of the paper to be one inch on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. It's important to know that Microsoft Word often will have a default to 1.25 inches, so you'll have to go in and change it. Also, make sure that the header, which we'll talk about in the next section, should be half an inch from the top. You should also set up that when you set up your other margins. When you write a paper in APA, make sure you're using 12-point standard fonts only, so no fancy script fonts, no horror fonts or curly cues, any of those kinds of things. My high school students used to love those, but it's not quite appropriate for graduate level work. Also, make sure that you're using a serif font for most of the text, but a sans serif font for figure labels. Now, if you don't know what sans serif and serif are all about, I have an example to show you here. On the left, we have the font Helvetica. That is a sans serif font. It is without serifs. On the right, we have Times New Roman, which is a serif font. The circles there indicate what the serifs are that I'm talking about. It's those little wings that hang off the letters. So they've done studies that show that it's easier on the eye to read a font that is a serif font than it is a sans serif font. So make sure you're using a font like Times New Roman that has serifs on it for the main text. You'll also want to align the paragraphs to the left and leave the right margin ragged. Oftentimes people like the look of a fully justified margin where both sides are nice and straight, but APA suggests that you use left justification. Also you want to use an indent for all paragraphs uh, and make sure that those are half an inch indentations using the tab key. Don't use the spacebar because formatting can go all wonky uh, when you start to revise. Also don't use hyphenation at the end of line so as you're setting up your document make sure to turn off hyphenation. Also Every page in the document is going to have what we call a running head. I'll talk a little bit more about those in the next video. But in that running head, you'll have every single page numbered in order, starting with Arabic numeral 1 on the title page. So Arabic numerals rather than, say, Roman numerals. Uh, so things like the title page, abstract, those parts of the document, all of those have Arabic numerals as well. Use your word processor's automatic function for uh, the, uh, typing in the page numbers rather than actually hand typing in those headers on each page because, again, the formatting can get very strange and very annoying for you uh, if you don't use that automatic function. If you don't know how to use the automatic function, uh, it's worth your while to take some time to look this up in your computer's help files. And then finally, don't alter these uh, requirements to try to make your paper look longer. Your professor can probably tell, and uh, it, it's much better to actually have a slightly shorter paper than to try to pull one over on your professor. 
Thanks for listening, and in the next video, we'll talk more about the title page.